Welcome everyone to another lesson in remote sensing techniques and in this lesson we will concentrate on the questions how we can do a supervised classification on Landsat data. So uh, for first time or maybe for first understanding how this works we should consider the, uh, the um, terms parametric and non-parametric signatures. As you maybe know from our last lesson in unsupervised classification, we can um, create something like a feature space in Atlas Imagine using the image to feature space uh, tool. And uh, doing this for the bands number four and bands number three gives us a really good um, possibility to differentiate between water here in the lower left corner and vegetation in the lower right. And just make a new plot of it so we have one pixel with water and one pixel with, with, with vegetation and as you can see here um, due to some um, yeah some random signal uh, behavior here we have something like an ellipse here and over here as well and we can uh, use these ellipses to uh, plot a frequency in the band number four and as you can see here we have an um, nearly um, normal distribution over here. This is a quite wide uh, normal distribution in the band number 4 and we can describe these probability density functions um, with some statistics. So we can um, say okay the mean value is over here, mean here and we have some standard deviation on, on them as well. But um, Let's have a look on the normal feature space. So the normal feature space looks like this. Just check again with the first slide. And you can also arrange a signature file or a class just by looking on the feature space and masking an area out of it like this. So this should be one class. And if you're looking on the frequency on the band number four maybe, you will see that you have uh, something like a normal distribution in the first part because you will have uh, a lot of more pixels over here instead of over here but it, it doesn't start on, on the value of zero and then it is just cut it off because of the rectangle area here and you will maybe have something like a stable frequency uh, belonging to this box and then a second cut off in the end of the box so you, you cannot describe it probably using a probability density function and therefore you you uh, you are introducing the, the term non-parametric feature because it's not behaving something like a or or it can its behavior cannot be described with a probability density function but let's go back again from powerpoint to this uh, Landsat scene uh, i'm using all the way so this is Bergen again and first of all we have to make clear what is the main difference between uh, doing an unsupervised classification and using a supervised approach. Uh, for the unsupervised classification you are just you know, concentrating may maybe on the mathematical behavior of the Landsat scene and its reflectances or maybe its digital numbers in this way and due to the Due to the mathematically or geometrically setup of this um, reflectance, you will create your your uh, classes or also your signatures, and this you are hoping to find your scene rep represented in this um, in this segmentation of the area. The supervised uh, approach is a little bit different. For the supervised approach, you are designing something like a, um, um, an example. And from this example, Addis or, or the, the approach tries to find other areas in your Landsat scene that belongs um, to the uh, spectral setup of this example. So, um, first of all, we have to make clear how to uh, gain these examples for this uh, for this spectral behavior. And therefore, we will create some AOIs, or maybe area, uh, or also known as areas of interest. Therefore, we will need um, the Landsat scene as well. And you can find AOI um, 
over here and there we go with the tools so you can create a tool using a polygon or a rectangle or circle I'm normally using uh, polygons uh, because they are easy to create and you can really or you can you can arrange the the position of your polygon very very easy to your desired area of interest so um, first example and maybe this is, a, this is the best example you, you can probably give everyone in every kind of software is to create a signature file or class just um, representing water therefore I've created this kind of polygon and I have to extract the information in the pixels um, to a signature and therefore I will open the classifier and signature editor there we go. And you can create new signatures from AOI. You can see it over here. Create new signatures from AOI using this tool. This will extract all the band information in this area and provide a signature name. You can find the color, which is the mean color of the area of interest. And you can also have a look in the statistics of, from that. So just remember on the PowerPoint part, um, you will have something like a normal distribution over here. You can check it in every band. One, two, three, four, five, and band number seven. And but normally you are not having just only one area of interest. And so you have to um, concentrate on all the scene also or on the or on the whole extent of the scene. So this is a very bluish um, water body. You can also have some very dark water bodies or shallow water bodies over here. So you will create um, not only one uh, signature or one example, uh, we will create a lot of them. So using this again, go back to the signature editor, create a new file. This is class number two. We will just leave the name now blank and go to the shallow water body. Once again, this could be very coarse, so you don't need to uh, concentrate on the on the um, beaches or whatever. So you can just mask um, one part of the lake. So we go over this, and why you should use all the ex or the whole extent of the scene is because. The, this Landsat scene has a width of about 190 kilometers, so you can have some haze in the western part and uh, really um, non-hazy conditions in the eastern part. And this will change uh, the way of reflectance of your body. So now we will have this once again, and now we are going up to the north. And there's a big water body. Here we go. And one other part is uh, if you're using signatures or training areas uh, from areas that are close to each other, you will have some kind of problem of the spatial autocorrelation. So you should concentrate really on the whole extent, and your examples should be um, good to see. They should not contain any kind of mixed pixels or whatever so um, I will show you that in a moment just extract the information here here we go so just as an example you can see the um, the area over here so we go in there you should not go with this signature file 